Kia ora, kodia ho, harama, welcome to 5 Minute Makerspace. Today's activity is going to be split into two parts, which we will need to actually conduct over a week's time. But the activity itself, in terms of preparation, is actually only going to take us around that five minute mark. So I'll just explain what we're going to need. So we're doing an erosion experiment, and we're going to need three of these bottles, um, nice elongated shape. I've got soil in here, and I've also got some grass seed. So the first thing we're actually going to do, and this is gonna happen over the week, is we're actually going to grow some grass. Now, we're just gonna prepare our container, and to do that, I'm just gonna focus in the, the camera, and we're gonna take it closer. So take your bottle. What we need to do is cut out a large rectangle, because this is essentially going to work as a little bit of a pot for us. Now, you may be able to do that or get an adult to help you do that um, without using a ruler or a pen. But in this case, actually going to just mark on this tube. So I'm just gonna roll this around a little bit. And just give us a little bit of straightness there. And certainly you may wish to do that on the sides too. So we need it to be quite deep. I'm just going to run that line down a bit further. And it's going to go a reasonable length along here. This is about 17 centimetres long. And I'm just going to put a line around the top as well. Just fold that around. Let's see how deep that makes that. We might make this just a little bit longer and then we can join that up. Okay, a little bit longer still. You can adjust the size of the rectangle after you've made all those initial cuts in any event. So safety first. With this, we do need to cut out this portion, so I would like you to get an adult to help you do that. I'm just going to use a craft knife to get this started, and probably run it along the top. I'm going to turn that around, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the scissors to do the long part. little bit tricky. And that looks a really great size. Now what we're going to do and you may wish to do this part outside, is we're going to fill up the bottom with some soil. Now we don't want it overflowing, so we'll just push it to the edges there and just start to press it down. And need a little bit more at the top here. Now at this stage, we do have the lid on the end of the bottle. And just smooth that there. Now take your grass seed and just sprinkle that across the top. grass is ready, you need to give it a water. Perhaps use a spray bottle so it doesn't disrupt the seeds too much. Then leave it outside to grow. This will take about a week 
but please make sure you keep your grass watered. What you could do after you water it once is cover it with a little bit more soil just to give it something else to grow through. And we'll see you back here in a second, but we will be taking a week to grow our grass. I'll see you soon. two weeks and welcome back and we've got a very fine display of grass in here in the bottle that we prepared earlier. I've got two more bottles prepared, one that has soil only and one that has the same amount of soil that has this mulch on top. So that's just some grass clippings, dried leaves, things like that. So um, cover the soil in the second bottle with that. And then we need to prepare a three buckets which we're going to hang off the end of our containers and that will capture the water for our erosion demonstration. All right, so we need three lengths of string, about 20 centimetres each, and we're just going to put some holes in some plastic cups. Make those opposite each other, just using the um, little trick of using the blue tack there and the skewer. I'm just going to make those holes and I might need to make them a little bit bigger to put the string through. But these are just so we can thread the string through the holes and make them into some little buckets before we pop them on our containers. Alright, so just um, thread the th string through, just make a small little knot in the end and that should be enough to hold it in place. Of course your cups need to be strong enough to hold a reasonable amount of, of water as we're going to find out. Now it would be great if I had see-through cups but unfortunately I don't on this occasion but we will take the footage from above so that should work out fine we're going to see what's going to happen so so the thing that um, I'd like you to think about is what is going to happen when we place the water on each of these in each of these vessels I'll just finish doing these cups and then come back now that my three buckets are ready, it's time to head outside. Because this could get a little bit messy. What I'm going to do, and I'll have this set up when I get out there, is going to hang the bucket off the end of each of our vessels. Then I'm going to remove the lid and add water. Have you had a think about which, which vessel will produce the cleanest water? I've got something in mind. Let's go and take a closer look. Look at the results a little closer. So what did you think about the results? Did they align with what you were thinking? I really did think that the grass would hold the most water and produce the cleanest water when the water came on it. And that proved to be the case. When you have a look upside down at your grass, you will see how much the roots interlace with each other, 
holding the soil and holding the water as well. If you get a chance, take the grass out of the container and squeeze it out. You might be really surprised with how much water it actually holds. I was actually really surprised at how much of the soil, just that little bit of mulch retained and enabled the water to, well, not have as much soil in it as I thought it would. And of course the soil that had no protection didn't really seem to hold the soil at all and all the soil came out with the water. Well, what a great demonstration. I think it shows you what happens in a garden and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for joining me. Kakite.